Welcome to Infinity Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the important topic in the surveying that is the magnetic declination. So let us start that. So at the end of this video, we will discuss what type of questions can be given in various exams like MPSC, WRD and ZP and gate level. Okay. So first, what is magnetic declination is? Suppose if you take the earth surface, earth consists of true north and true south. The line joining this true north and true south is called as a true meridian. So this line I am calling as what? A true meridian. And earth consists of magnetic north and magnetic south. Magnetic north and magnetic south. And the point is, whatever this true north, true south positions are there, they are always fixed. The position of true north and true south is always fixed. And then, whatever this magnetic north and magnetic, magnetic south positions are there, they continuously changes. That means today the magnetic north and magnetic south positions are maybe here. But tomorrow they may shift to some other point. Like they may shift to the magnetic north may shift to this point. Magnetic south may shift to that point. So the position of the true meridian is always constant, but the position of the magnetic meridian changes. So now the line joining this magnetic north and magnetic south, that is called as a magnetic declination. Okay, now, whatever the angle between this true meridian and magnetic meridian is there. Okay, whatever the angle between this true meridian and magnetic meridian is there. So this is the true meridian, this is the magnetic meridian. This angle we call as declination okay so what do you mean by declination angle between true meridian and magnetic meridian okay then in the field when we measure the bearings in the field when we measure the bearings we use the magnetic compass so we always get the magnetic bearings we always get what we always get the magnetic bearings now once if you determine the magnetic bearing in the given location if you know the declination then you can determine the true bearing of the line. Suppose this is the line I have. This is the line I have. And for this line in the field what I have measured is I have measured the true, I have measured the magnetic bearing. Okay, I have measured the magnetic bearing. And this is the declination I am saying. So once if you know this magnetic bearing and once if you know this declination you can calculate what is the true bearing of the line you can calculate what is the true bearing of the line so now from this diagram what is the true bearing of the line true bearing equal to so this is the true bearing this is the magnetic bearing and this is the declination so true bearing can be written as magnetic bearing plus a declination so like that i can write but sometimes what happens is this is the true north and true south their position will not change but now the magnetic north and magnetic south are here let us say this is the magnetic north and this is the magnetic south it is like this now there is a line suppose which is here and in the field always we measure what we always measure the magnetic bearing and this is now the declination now I have to find the true bearing. I have to find the true bearing. So what is the true bearing now? If this is the declination, true bearing equal to magnetic bearing minus declination. Okay. So now if you see the first case, if you see this case, whatever the, whatever the magnetic meridian is there, that is on the east side of the true north or west side of the true north. Okay, magnetic north is on the east side. That's why whatever the declination is there here, that is called as east declination. Okay, and whatever the, if you say this diagram, whatever the magnetic north is there, whatever the magnetic meridian is there, that is on the west side of the true meridian. That is on the west side of the true meridian. That's why this declination is called as west declination. Okay, so now the formula for the true bearing is magnetic bearing plus declination but this declination is which type of declination east declination and whatever this declination is there that is of which type west declination 
okay so if it is the east declination we have to add it to the magnetic bearing to get the true bearing if it is the west declination we have to subtract it from the magnetic bearing to get the true bearing so i can write the formula like true bearing equal to magnetic bearing plus or minus a declination plus or minus a declination so when to take the plus value and when to take the negative value is plus value you have to take if it is the east declination and negative value you have to take it is the if it is the uh, west declination okay now in this topic the questions will be given like they will give what is the true bearing what is the magnetic bearing of the line and whether uh, they will give whether it is a west declination or east declination then you have to find the true bearing sometimes they will give the true bearing and they will give the declination you have to find the magnetic bearing so like that the questions will be asked okay thank you